Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment on this video saying I subscribed. Let's get into it. According to latest reports, the Union Cabinet has approved the Gaganyaan project, under which a three-member crew will be sent to space for at least seven days. The project will cost 10,000 crore rupees, and the mission will be undertaken by 2022, and the crew members for India's first human space flight program will be selected by the Indian Air Force. According to latest reports, the Modi government is moving ahead with the Rafale program, and has taken the next step by issuing 25% of the payment to the French government, as part of the contractual terms and conditions of the project. The first aircraft would be delivered as per schedule by September 2019, and the first batch of four fighter jets will be delivered by mid-2020, and the fighter jets would undergo extensive testing by the Indian Air Force to assess the India-specific enhancements made on the aircraft. Russia has completed the shipments of 24 Su-35 single-seat multi-role fighters to China, under a $2.5 billion contract that was finalized in November 2015. While the final batch was delivered in November, Russia will continue to ship additional equipment till 2020, including air-launched systems that was covered by the contract. The Su-35 has joined the 6th Aviation Brigade based in Guangdong Province in China's southeast, and this unit previously operated Su-27 single-seat interceptors. According to latest reports, the Indian Army's Eastern Command Headquarters have taken over the guarding of the India-Myanmar border. The command headquarters is now pumping in more troops of Assam rifles, and they are now in the process of occupying a number of additional locations all along the border. <laughs> India is aspiring to move up in the reusable launch system development program, with vertical takeoff and vertical landing capabilities. ISRO's priority list now includes the reusable launch systems, and a landing site is being developed by the space agency for this purpose. The test vehicle will have supersonic retro propulsion, special retractable landing legs, and it will be guided by integrated navigation system. According to latest media reports, India-China border mechanisms are working in an efficient manner, and the two countries have been trying to address the border issue through various mechanisms, with the special representative mechanism being the highest level. India expects China to adhere to the established mechanisms to address its concerns with regard to building of infrastructure across the border, and also to address the trade imbalance between the two countries, and allowing import of agricultural products and IT services from India. India's position on China-Pakistan economic corridor remains unchanged, and India is also looking forward to China, in enhancing the data sharing of the Brahmaputra River. There were false reports that India has asked to set up a military base in Maldives, in exchange for the financial package to the country. There is no request from the government of India to the government of Maldives, to build any kind of military facility in return for $1.4 billion financial assistance to Maldives. According to latest media reports, Prime Minister Modi has announced a 4,500 crore rupees financial assistance to Bhutan. Prime Minister Modi has said, that as a trusted friend, India will continue to play an important role in Bhutan's development. The Prime Minister of Bhutan thanked India for its continued support to his country's developmental needs, and the new five-year plan of Bhutan began this year, and will continue till 2022.